Hi, it's Gaming Check here. Since you guys loved the last video so much, here is 10 more things that you obviously didn't know in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, let's begin. In Zombies, when grabbing a perk, there's a four perk limit where you can't grab any more perks. But there is a workaround, and it's by grabbing a gob gum called Perkaholic. You can retrieve this gob gum by either retrieving it from the news cookbook, or if you're lucky, you can get it from Dr. Monty. And when you have one, go into a zombie match, go to the gob gum machine, and then once you get the Perkaholic, you'll see that you have every single perk in the map. When loading into the map Shadows of Evil, if you're looking to accumulate points quickly in a speed of the rounds, there is a method that you can use. As soon as you load into the map, you will see the Shadow Man. Point your gun at him and start shooting. And as you keep on shooting, you see the rounds jump from round 1 all the way to round 5. And the highest round that you can skip for this method is round 15. Are you tired of dying by the two hit down in zombies? Well, there's a perk that not many people know about that can give you an extra set of hits before you go down, and it's called Juggernaut. When you find the perk machine that looks like this and purchase it for 2,500 points, you will now have an extra set of health. Also, it will protect you from that ridiculous two hit down, helping you survive in your zombie match. Playing on the map, Darius, if you always wonder why the pack is not available is because you have a link to teleporters. There are three teleporters you have the link to the main hub. And here are the locations and what to do. First, turn on the power. Then behind you, there's a door that you need to open. As soon as you open the door, you'll see the first teleporter. And all you have to do is walk up to it and link to the mainframe. You would then have a 30 second timer that will pop up, time you to link the teleporters. And now you have to do this two more times. The other one is by the MP40 wall by, and the last one is by the Type 100 wall by. When you finish the last one, the pack match will be available for you to use. Finding yourself tired of using the same boring spawn weapons to progress through the rounds in zombies? Well, there are two things you can use to get more guns. The mystery box and the wall by weapons. The mystery box is a box that gives you random weapons from the map. If you are lucky, you can even get a wonder weapon. But if there's a gun that you want to get quickly, a wall by weapon is your best bet. You can simply go up to the wall and purchase it for however many points and you have a new gun in your arsenal to slay your zombies. Did you know that you can get a free power up by using the fuse and dry and drag? When loading up the map, you will see this blue glowing fuse. Come to this terminal here and wait for the cooldown. Then, when it's done, call the tram. And when it arrives, you'll get a free random power up in the game. For this next one, I'm sure a lot of people didn't know. Like any zombie map, you'll need to turn on power for things to be activated for you to use. But in the map Origins, there's no switch to turn on power. Instead, there are six generators you have to turn on. Here are the locations and what to do. The first one is in the same room as a spawn. All you have to do is walk up to it and start it for 200 points. Stay within the area of the generator because if you don't, the generator will stop and all the progress you made will go down. Also, there will be a Templar zombie trying to stop you from completing the generators, but don't worry, you can easily shoot them. The second one is by the tank. The third one is by speed cola. The fourth one is by jug. The fifth one is by the light portal and the last and final one is by the ice portal and when you're done everything will be available to you if you anger ted on the map transit he will kick you off his bus door privileges have been fucking revoked then you have the progress to the map by venturing into the fall while in the fall you encounter these stupid mother truckers man god dang i'm sorry bro, but like frick i hate these little gremlin peanut belt head mother truckers bro why would they put these things in there the map is already god awful okay the map is already freaking terrible then you gotta deal with these mother truckers like god dang Hey, man. <sighs> You would then encounter the denizens. In order to remove them off you, you either knife them or before they come on your face, pause. Pause. Before they get on your face, you can shoot them and they will not get onto you. In Block Ops 3 Zombies, the normal starting pistol is the MR6. However, there is a way to not only obtain the RK5 as a starting pistol, but also have both the MR6 and the RK5 as starting pistols. This involves completing every BO3 Easter egg from Shadows Vivo all the way to Revelations. Once you completed them, you'll be granted the RK5 as a starting pistol. If you don't want the zombies give you back shots, there's an item that appears in almost every single zombie map and it's called a shield. If the map you're playing on has a shield available, find the location and usually there are three parts you have to collect. Once you've collected these items, go to a buildable table and assemble the shield. Then, the zombies will stop giving you back shots. Well, everyone, this has been 10 more things that you, obviously, didn't know in Call of Duty Zombies. If there was something in the video that you did not know, leave a comment so I know that I helped you out. And if you guys have any suggestions on things that zombie players, obviously, didn't know, leave a comment and I will include it in my next video. But for now, I will see you guys later. D d did you understand the part where I said I will see you later? Why are you still here? Go! Leave! Leave!